main important thing, guys, is again, you can see the answers are factored, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, we learned how to factor trinomials over here, right? Use the, you know, you can use the diamond and so forth, right? Um, however, when you have four terms, we can't use that same method. So what we can use, though, is the grouping technique. And again, what the grouping technique you do is you just group the first two terms and the last two terms. Then by grouping them, Colin, now what you do is factor out the GCF, the greatest common factor of each grouping. So 21x cubed and 14x squared, what do those have in common? 7x, 7x squared. squared. So you factor out a 7x squared. So therefore, I'm going to do this in green. What's left over is a 3x plus 2. Would everybody agree with me? Yes. OK. Now let's look at these two. What do these two have in common? What can I factor out of them? Five. You could do a 5. Let's do a negative 5 because I want it to look like this. Oh. So if I factor out a negative 5, what I'm left over with is 3x plus 2. Negative 5x divided by negative 5 would be positive 3x, right? So do you guys see how now in my parentheses is exactly the same? So I can factor. So out of this expression and this expression, what do these two share? The 3x plus 2. So you factor out the 3x plus 2. And what are you left over with? 7x squared minus 5. Done. That's called factoring by grouping.